Hi guys and welcome. If you need to build your own landing page or website, it's definitely better to use the website building platforms because in that case you don't need to learn coding, you don't need to learn the web design and um, so, so other knowledges that you need to take to build your own landing. Uh, that's why I want to show you a fantastic tool, very incredible and very powerful that will let you make uh, your first landing page really really fast and really without an extra efforts before i've started i want to say that we left the link in the description panel of this video and you can easily get access to this platform straight from this video so guys i don't want to make this video like one hour long just as short as possible with a maximum value so let's jump in the business First, you need to do is to find the link in description, press on that link and press start a free trial. Uh, the platform itself will ask you to choose a plan first, uh, but you need to know that you have 14 day trial as usual and it's enough space and it's enough time to build everything up. And after that, uh, to choose like which plan do you will use if you need one site is $27 per month if you need up to three sites is 59 or up to 50 sites uh, 239 and so on it's up to you it's up to your business it's up to size of your business so decide by yourself and we are gonna go right now to the dashboard of the platform that how it looks from inside as we're talking about the landing pages you need to press create new landing page and you'll see a lot of interesting things a lot of interesting templates that already pre-built uh, to use and you can just customize them one of those and that's it you have a ready to go website or landing page uh, and I want to show you in this video how to edit all the things and how to uh, how to manage all the things inside the editor. That's why uh, in that case, when you're gonna watch this video till the end, you're gonna know how to build it by yourself easy and really, really fast. Okay, let's see. Um, let's take this one and start building it. Probably this layout is pretty big and we will not edit all this side. I just want to show you the editor and highlight all the things that you need to know. Okay, there's a great, great pictures. There's a lot of, lot of things, a uh, lot of things here. Uh, and let's start editing. What's happening here? It's layout, sections, widgets, styles and settings. So you need to use all of those. You need to use all of those uh, and actually lay out and you see what are there. What are the sections? Because any landing page is built with a sections and hero, hero copy, hero copy, copy, uh, amenities, copy, feature, feature, feature. So if you need more information to add, you need to press add a section and you see there's about there's call to action. And there are a lot of a lot of ready templates of a sections. But if you didn't found the correct one, you can always use uh, the blank templates of a sections. And that's pretty, pretty cool that you can drag and drop everything straight here. And you see this parallax effect when you're scrolling the page. When you scroll on the page, you see that uh, the picture is there. Yeah, the picture is that at least under under your uh, layout. Yeah, this is the first one, and that's pretty cool and great. Okay. We're going back to layout. What can we do here? We can delete all the things that we don't need straight from here now something lays there i'm just gonna delete all the things to show you okay blank and about i want to delete it okay right now we have some we have some things here i want to add some color here that's that's one yeah 
you see it's pretty cool i don't know where's where lays the where lays all those all those interesting pictures we're gonna find out so everything that you can do here is like to press on that now on that section and you can change the section style you see that you have a column one and column two yeah in the blank in the hero you also have the column one and column two where are those and you can change the section style actually you have a color here let's switch it off okay background uh, for example in this section if you're gonna edit section settings you can change the height of this the size of the block itself for example i want it to be bigger and for example i want the video to be here so we go into widgets widgets eight those eight is pretty enough to build everything that you want and that's why uh, you can just drag and drop it straight from this spot you can drag and drop it and spacer we dra grab it in spacer and place it here and you have a divider here you can use this divider to reshape the sections as you want in the order that you want okay that's pretty cool you see that there's a parallax effect so we need to go to styles here and we need to uh, see what's the page background and there's a picture and you need to change this picture to the picture that you want actually and you can change an image you can use the images that you uploaded previously you can use the premium images to buy them uh, straight from the from the shutterstock or you can upload it from your computer and that's what i'm gonna do okay some kind of that you see the house is there and it's pretty cool and it's pretty impressive uh, you can apply image color overlay and that's very fantastic tool for example i want this uh, color to be white and you, if you change the opacity you see that the house is still there uh, and you have some kind of some kind of filter on it yeah that's pretty impressive and this is really very useful tool because uh, if you have a picture that displays incorrect it's better to it's better to use uh, it's better to use this image color overlay and that's pretty cool all right we found the page background now we have the font styles mm, and you can change all the fonts if you have the big layout uh, and you have a lot of text a lot of headlines um, you can change it straight from here and for entire page and that's also a very useful feature for uh, for this case when you press in this three dots button in each section you can add section buffer below duplicate copy delete or edit section settings and you see that there's a background this um, it, those figures there yeah it's png it's without a uh, it's without a background and it looks pretty impressive so we're gonna leave it like that i like this so much and you see the minimum height you can make the size of this section bigger as you want just as you want you see there's okay i like it like that maybe a little bit bigger a little bit bigger yeah that's that's pretty cool so i showed you all the editing features if you want to change a background of this section for example we need to go to layout we see that here in uh, in this hero section we see the column one yeah you see there's that color you can change that color so you can change pretty everything and this divider you can move it around to get the shape that you want uh, that's pretty all with the editing features and that's why i'm jumping to settings right now so we're on the settings seo social analytics and language definitely if you want your site to be visible to search engine machines you need to take care about that 
to uh, and to fulfill all this page title page description page keywords if you don't want this page to be visible to search engines you need to turn on this flag i don't want search engines to index this page social if you want to share a link to some social media like facebook or other platform it will be displayed like that and you need to take care about this picture analytics if you want to run business uh, properly definitely you need to get some analytical information and google analytics tracking id can be uh, placed in this spot language of a page it's pretty clear and understandable and uh, right now i want to show you the most important part of this video and the most important part of any landing page that you can build ever uh, those are buttons yeah because buttons let's go to widgets i'm gonna show you button and form those are two interactive elements in your page so you need to um the main purpose of any landing page is to take contact information from your clients and that's why you need to edit the click event to each button if a click event is didn't uh, not not set yet it's gonna be in the red box uh, so let's add the click event there's an options open a pop-up calendly pop-up jump to a page section link to a landing page or external url uh, in most cases is the pop-up you can select from the from the list or you can create new and in this case let's add it the pop-up you see everything is pretty cool and great and uh, if you want to change some stuff on this section you need to go to edit section settings uh, and in this case you need to edit integrations because this is the most important part when you press on the edit integrations you see the integrations then this is the way how you're gonna get new leads how you're gonna get notifications about new clients and uh people who fulfill this uh, this form you can get it to your inbox of your email or you can add an integration here and you can switch on you can integrate it with external services of email marketing and here you go it's impressive list active campaign convert kit get response mailchimp everything is all, all of those are pretty cool and very powerful tools and if you know nothing about them i suggest you to find out more and uh, you can integrate everything with a zapier also very fantastic and powerful tool that will help you to run your business properly so that's pretty enough information for that uh, if you don't have much leads you can use your just inbox fields we see that there's an only email and we need to add a field let it be the first name and first name is pretty enough do not add more than two fields to fulfill because people are lazy and they don't want to fulfill a lot of stuff so first name and emails pretty enough and actions what's going to happen when somebody will press the button uh like take a tour or send uh this this information it's going to be default lead pages thank you page landing page external url or remain on page or if you promised to send some valuable information like pdf with a checklist or some else thing you can add this lead magnet straight to here and that's pretty it guys i showed you everything that you will use to build up your own landing page uh, i showed you all the features and that's pretty it under 20 minutes and we have yes i didn't change the text but you'll handle with the text for sure because it's pretty easy uh, and nothing is special with the text so it's no big deal to, to to take care about the text but all the other things definitely are important and definitely you need to um, switch on all of the buttons and just to mention you can change the style of those buttons um, in that shape line you see everything is really really fast and everything is pretty customizable so you can build a website or landing page by yourself literally in 20 minutes literally try to do it yourself and you're gonna like it for sure
I want to remind you that our team left the link in the description panel of this video and you can easily get access to this fantastic and really, really powerful tool straight from this video. So beer gas, use our link. Thank you so much. And if you consider this video as useful, press like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks and see you in the next video. Bye bye.